Hello students, let's do set concepts, exercise 6D. Before we start our exercise, let's look at some formulae regarding cardinality of sets, the cardinal number. Now, this is one formula. There are some formulae that you need to learn. Now, if you are asked to find the cardinal number of A union B and you are given only the cardinal numbers, that is cardinal number of set A, cardinal number of set B and the cardinal number of A intersection B. Suppose you are not given the elements. If the elements are given, you can just put them together, count and write. But if elements are not given, instead you are given only cardinal numbers of A, B and A intersection B, then this is the formula you need to use to find the cardinal number of A union B. Now, if you have to find the cardinal number of A intersection B, there is another formula just like this. You have to find the cardinal number of A, add it up with cardinal number of B and subtract A union B, the cardinal number. Okay, so this is the formula to find cardinal number of A union B. This is the formula to find cardinal number of A intersection B. Now, if you have to find the difference between A and B, that is the cardinal number of A minus B, then this is the formula when intersection B is given. Okay, so if you have to find A minus B when A intersection B is given, this is the formula. Now, if you have to find A minus B when A union B is given, this is the formula. So, this is what you need to find. This is the formula. Again, this is what you need to find. This is the formula. Why are these two formulae different? Because, though both are same here, because here it is intersection and here it is union. Similarly, if you have to find B minus A, then this is the formula just like this, just like this. So if you learn up these two formulae, you'll be able to do it for B minus A also. Similarly, B minus A cardinal number, if you have A union B given, this is the formula. So these are six formulae that you need to you learn so that we can use it when cardinal numbers are asked. Questions on cardinal numbers are asked. Now we can begin the exercise. Exercise 60 is on page number 91 and we are with question 7. Let A and B be two sets such that the cardinal number of A is 75, the cardinal number of B is 65 and the cardinal number of A intersection B is 45. So as you can see we are only being given the cardinal numbers. We don't know what the elements are. Now we have to find the cardinal numbers for three questions here. First one is A union B. So let's write down what's given first. So this is given to us, cardinal number of A, B and A intersection B. We've been given the numbers. Now we have to find the first question and let's use this formula. Remember, six formula have been given. You have to learn it up in that first one here is cardinal number of A union B and the formula is add up cardinal number of A plus cardinal number of B and minus cardinal number of A intersection B. So let's substitute the values. Cardinal number of A, it's given to us in the question. Cardinal number of A is 75. So let's write 75 there. So this is 75 plus cardinal number of B, it's given to us is 65. So let's write that 65 minus cardinal number of A intersection B, it's given as 45. So now we have to add up 75 plus 65. So 75 plus 65. So 5 plus 5 is 10, carry 1, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14. Now minus 45 from this. So borrow, so this is 10 minus 5 is 5, 13 minus 4 is 9. So here the cardinal number of A union B is what we've just found out and that is 95. So this is our answer, 95. So this is how you work out sums when only cardinal numbers are given and elements are not given. So we finished the first one. We found the cardinal number of A union B. Now we must find the cardinal number of A minus B. Let's use the formula. So cardinal number of A minus B is cardinal number of A minus cardinal number of A intersection B. Now why have we written A intersection B? Because that is given to us in the question. So based on what is given to you in the question, you have to use the correct formula. Okay, so here again let us substitute. So cardinal number of A is 75 
and cardinal number of A intersection B is 45. So let's write that. Cardinal number of A is 75. Minus cardinal number of A intersection B is 45. 75 minus 45 is 30. So what have we found? We have found the cardinal number of A minus B and that is 30. Now the next question is cardinal number of B minus A. So this is A minus B. Now this is B minus A. Again, only intersection is given. So let's use the formula. So here the formula is cardinal number of B minus cardinal number of A intersection. B. Can you see? It's the same. Just that we have changed the name of the set because here the order has changed. So let's substitute the values. Cardinal number of B is 65 and cardinal number of A intersection B is 45. So what do we have here? We have 65 minus 45. 65 minus 45 is 20. So what have we found? We have found the cardinal number of B minus A and the answer is 20. So I hope you have understood when only cardinal numbers have been given use the six formula and it's very easy if you can understand the formula you must learn it by heart. Question 8. Let A and B be two sets such that the cardinal number of A is 45, cardinal number of B is 38 and the cardinal number of A union B is 70. So this time A union B is given. Now find these three. So first let's begin by writing what is given to us. So what is given to us is cardinal number of A, cardinal number of B and the cardinal number of A union B. Now let's start with the first question. We have to find the cardinal number of A intersection B. Let's use the formula. So the formula is cardinal number of A plus the cardinal number of B minus the cardinal number of A union B. So let's substitute the values. Cardinal number of A given to us is 45. B given to us is 38 minus cardinal number of A union B is also given to us that is 70. So we have to add up 45 plus 38 first. So let's do that. 45 plus 38. 5 plus 8 is 13. Carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. 6, 7, 8. 83. Now minus 70 from this. 3. 8 minus 7 is 1. It's 13. So what have we found now? We have found the cardinal number of A intersection B. And we have found that to be 13. Question 2. We have to find the cardinal number of A minus B. So cardinal number of A minus B, the formula is cardinal number of A union B minus cardinal number of B. So let's write the values. A union B cardinal number is 70 minus cardinal number of B. B is 38. So now let's subtract 70 minus 38. So borrow from here. 10 minus 8 is 2. 6 minus 3 is 3. So what do we have now? We have 32. And what have we found? We have found the cardinal number of A minus B. And the answer is 32. Question 3. We have to find the cardinal number of B minus A. Now let's use the formula. So let's use the formula for question 3. So now we have to find the difference between B minus A and the cardinal number of B minus A. The formula is this. So let's substitute the values. The cardinal number of A union B given to us is 70 minus the cardinal number of A. A is also given to us. It's 45. Now let's subtract these two. 70 minus 45. Borrow from here. And here 10 minus 5 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. So what do we get? We get 25. And what have we found? We have found the cardinal number of B minus A. And the answer is 25. Question 9. Let the cardinal number of A be 30, cardinal number of B be 27, and the cardinal number of A union B be 45. Now we have to find the answers to these two questions. First, let's write what's given to us. So this is given to us in the question already. Now to find the cardinal number of A intersection B, we have to use this formula. This is a formula, so let's substitute the values here. A, the cardinal number is 30, plus the cardinal number of B is 27, 
minus the cardinal number of A union B that is 45. So now let's add up 30 plus 27 that is 57 minus 45. So let's do that 57 minus 45. 7 minus 5 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1, that's 12. So here we have 12 and what have we found? We have found the cardinal number of A intersection B and that is 12. Now the second question, cardinal number of A minus B. Again, let's use the formula. So the formula is this. Let's substitute the values. Now the cardinal number of A union B is given to us, that's 45. Cardinal number of B is also given to us, that is 27. So let's subtract the 2, 45 minus 27. Now we need to borrow here. Now 15 minus 7 is 8, 3 minus 2 is 1. So here we get 18. And what have we found? We have found the cardinal number of A minus B. And the answer is 18. Question 10. The cardinal number of A be 31. B, 20 and A intersection B, 6. Now we have to find the answers to these three questions. So let's write down what's given to us. This is already given to us. Now first we need to find the cardinal number of A minus B. Let's use this formula. So the formula is there. Let's substitute the values. Cardinal number of A is 31. Remember all this is given to us in the question. Cardinal number of A intersection B is 6. So 31 minus 6 is 25. So what have we found here? We have found the cardinal number of A minus B and that is 25. The second question is we have to find the cardinal number of B minus A. So let's use the formula B minus A. This is the formula. Let's substitute the values here. So here cardinal number of B, the value given to us is 20. The cardinal number of A intersection B given to us is 6. Now 20 minus 6 is 14. So and what have we found here? We have found the cardinal number of B minus A. And the answer is 14. The next question is we have to find the cardinal number of A union B. So let's use this formula. Okay. Now let's substitute cardinal number of A is 31. Cardinal number of B is 20 and the cardinal number of A intersection B is 6. Now 31 plus 20 is 51. 51 minus 6. So borrow from here. 11 minus 6 is 5 and here we have 4. So this is 45 and we have found the cardinal number of A union B and that is 45. So this is the answer to this question. With this, children, we've come to the end of this exercise. Thank you, children.